What's up guys, I'm Liam and I'm back with another video and today we are going to be seeing what's inside this Black & Decker um, drill battery pack. So yeah, let's get right on to the video. Okay, so obviously right here I have my battery pack, but I need something to take this apart, which is going to be one of these. Now, I have three of these, by the way, this is not sponsored by whatever the crap this is, Cobalt. Um, it's not, okay? But I was just going to say, these are really useful for taking things apart because they have a bunch of um, uh, heads and whatnot. So, anyways... Um, this one comes with this type of head, like the T, it comes with the T8 through T40, um, and they look like these, so, and yes, I did burn my finger, um, but anyways, I was in cooking class today, but yeah, anyways, um, I have three of these, this is one of them, I have a blue one that has Phillips head and, um, flat head in different sizes, and I have a red one that, that, um, it, I don't know what it, it is, but it, it, yeah, mm, it fits these bolts type thing. So it's, it's sort of like this, but instead of it being curved, it's just straight like that. So it'll fit inside of these. It's hard to explain, okay, because I don't know what they're called. But anyways, um, let's get it right into the actual taking apart part. Yep. <clears throat> anyways, what I'm going to need for this this, like, if you're doing this, um, you may not have the same screw type as me, but anyways, what I'm gonna need is this T10 bit, um, and I'm just gonna start removing the screws, so, anyways, let's get right on to that, um, and yes, I'm gonna be recording, because why not? But anyways, almost got the first screw off, I believe. Oops, sorry, I just knocked the camera. Anyways, holy crap, that's a long screw. Anyways, got the first one out. Let's move on to the second. And after that, let's move on to this one. Alright, now it's stable enough to where I can use both hands. Oh, crap. Come on, please come out. Alright, thank you. And, finally, the last one. Um, by the way, this is a 12-volt battery. Um, and, by the way, you a lot of you didn't view the 9-volt battery that I was taking apart. And I said in that video, um, that by hitting that like button you would be showing me that I would make, or if I want, because I asked if I should make this into a, a series. And I said, hit that like button if you want me to make it into a series. <clears throat> and I think there's only one like on it. I don't give a crap, just this time, hit the like button on this, on this video, just on this video, just hit the, li the like button if you want to see me take more stuff apart, because I have old phones that I can take apart, and I have, like, this old... VHS tape recorder thingy that I can take apart. It's like a mini one and I have some other cool stuff like this weird diary calculator thingy And I, I, I have some cool stuff trust me when I say That I just don't need anymore and I can take apart. So anyways, just hit that like button and that'll show me Anyways, let's lift this apart and whoa, holy crap Okay, so whoa, that's weird man. That's really weird but cool um, okay, so, as you can see by taking it apart, here's the cells, uh, <clears throat> and here's the covering. I'm so gonna use this spring, this, oh yeah, that's a strong spring, I can put that in that pen that I made, the shooting pen. Ooh, that's gonna be great, man. Mm, here's the, um, the little thingy, yeah, yep. And here's what looks like a wall socket, but it's not, okay, that does not 
Okay, so this battery has no charge. Alright, because that's not shocking me. And this is a 12 volt battery. Anyways, let's take off the leads. Ow, crap. That hurt. <laughs> um, anyways, after that, we can just rip this part off because why not? And oh, off comes this. Here are those cells. This is weird, man. Really. Um, whoa. What the? Okay, so they're just separated like that. Um, they're all connected. Um, so what I'm going to do real quick off video is um, separate all these. So, yeah. Yep, I just took off that tape. I'm actually going to take my phone off of my redneck stand right here and just hold it for the rest. Um, after further inspection, I noticed that a couple of these are corroded, but I'm still going to take them apart, hopefully. And, ooh, yeah. Anyways, let me get back to that. Okay, so I got them taken apart, and just pray for me, guys. Pray that I won't get acid burns or anything. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, there is acid and whatnot on these. Um, which sucks, um, but here, let me try and find one that's a good example of that. The, the one that's connected to the, or that was connected. Ah, here we go. Hold on one second. Alright, there. That's a good example. Um, there's one more that's a good example. Mmm, here we go. That's a good example, too. So, yeah, ones like that are no good. Um, but these other ones should be good. Anyways, I'm going to try and take the cardboard off of one of these and see what we get. So, yeah. Okay, so I managed to get the cardboard off of one of these. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, this one's really rusted. I'm pretty sure these would have been in water. But, anyways, these are pretty cool to see. And, yeah. So, that's that for that, yeah. Mm. Uh, I, I have some great grammar, don't I? Mm. Anyways, I'm just going to toss these. I'm probably going to throw them away or throw them at some phones, because why not? I actually brought all those phones to my dad's in this tiny box, um, which was able to fully close. And I don't know if I can get it to do that again. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you liked this video. And if you want me to make this into a series, um, which I most likely will, but anyways, make sure to hit that like button because that'll really show me you actually want to see this crap. And remember, I got some real cool stuff to take apart. So anyways, I will see you in the next video. Peace. I don't know what's all up with the voice, but yeah, peace. <laughs>